What's going on guys, Many here and welcome to another episode of MMT. As you can see right now in the top left of your screen, we have over 24 million coins, of course, which we are willing to spend. Uh, right now I was looking at the Team of the Year cards, which was, that was looking at Kante, had the 99 Van Dyke obviously on my mind, and I was looking to maybe try and get away to get these players into my team. I bought Allison. I have to say, I'm just gonna make a base statement on Allison. He is just not good enough. And how many times have you heard me say that about players? But honestly, for a 97 rate goalkeeper, Allison is not the man. Even though he goes for like 400K and that seems cheap for his rating, uh, he just still can see like any other goalkeeper would. And I would say, if you're looking to spend coins on a goalkeeper, try and avoid that because it's not really worth it. But yeah, I was gonna try him out regardless uh, at that point. Uh, and I'd used him for a few games and I was thinking I need the links to Van Dijk and also was I going to use Road to Final Gomez uh, but yeah also for my Liverpool fans out there I will be doing another best possible Liverpool side uh, in or well, I didn't do a best possible Liverpool side I just used an all Liverpool side last time but I'll try and do a best possible Liverpool side in the weekend league over the next few weeks so if you want to see that make sure to put a thumbs up on this video and a comment down below um, but yeah finally I broke the bank for this 99 uh, Van Dyke, uh, I thought with his rating he would go for a lot more than 90, no, sorry, a lot more than uh, 4 million, 5 million, which he was initially going for. I saw people on the first day uh, buy him for 8 million coins, which I thought was kind of crazy. I knew his price would drop, obviously, so many packs were being opened during the week. But in the end, he went down as low as 2.4 million, and I missed out on the opportunity to buy him for that. So I ended up having to go and pay 3 million coins, which I still don't think is a bad price, because like I said, I expected him to be more expensive. Also, we added uh, the 98 Killian Mbappe to our ranks. Uh, uh, I was gonna try the team out in a 3-4-1-2. I was going to go back to the 3-4-1-2 as a, like, that was the one that got me top 100. But since then, the gameplay and the style of play has changed. Everyone's going down the line and playing three at the back is not ideal. So in the end, what we did was we actually changed formation. I did have so many good players available to me and I think at times I was forcing them were all into a team which wasn't really working but going into the weekend league I changed it up I went with a 4-2-4-3-2-1 uh, to start with and then I would play the 4-1-2-1-2 in game and I'm going to try and go through these players uh, one by one so to start with as I said before, Allison is not necessarily the guy that you want in your net. He does concede too easily. Even there at his near post, I think he could do a little better and he doesn't do that. So for 400K, 450K, whatever it is, I don't think you should ever put your coins into that unless they patch him and upgrade him. I would try and avoid Allison. I'd also bought Carlos Alberto for around 1.7 million, I think. Uh, Bateson has been raving about him so much, saying he's a very good player. He's uh, very good defensively, attacking wise as well. No, uh, no one really gets past him, and when he goes forward, he's effective. So, uh, going based off that, Carlos Alberto for me in the first few games of the weekend league was pretty decent. 1.7 mil, maybe not, maybe around 1.2, and I would say he's your guy. Virgil van Dijk, we'll just take a look at this. He can even score from outside the box. 99 van Dijk, a lot swifter than the 91 or any of the informs, and I do think he is a very solid card. From the feedback of people playing against me in Rivals and in Champs, they said he was very difficult to get past. So, Virgil van Dijk, 3 million coins. I would say he's even worth 5 million coins if you had those coins and if he was going for that I would still pay 5 million for him. Uh, Maldini still as good as ever. I am thinking of upgrading to the 94 so hopefully I'll be able to do that over time. Robertson that we packed he is quite good but at times even on stay back he does seem to get drawn out of position uh, leaving it open for my opponents to get down the line with that wing ball and I don't know if that's the exploit or just how the game works sometimes uh, but Robertson can be caught out of position. Overall though I would say for the price still a very very good card. Uh, De Jong, uh, you guys may have seen that I've spoken about him before. Uh, De Jong's very good. One of my favourite team of the year cards actually out of the lot. And uh, he's so much swifter. His interceptions are crazy. I think they're like 95 as well. Uh, but yeah, you can see De Jong is a very efficient guy. Fast, swift, and he can also score goals as well. Uh, Zidane in this formation, still doing Zidane things. I don't need to talk about King Zidane. Look at that. Even gets the jam there. That's a ridiculous goal, by the way, FIFA. Just saying, that's actually ugly. I was even sad to score that. But yeah, Zidane and Vieira are still uh, very, very good cards. Vieira, the only thing that lets him down and the thing that makes me want to change and use some of uh, the Team of the Year cards over him is his shooting, and it's not great at all. But speaking of great, this Bernardo Silva, I don't know if he's still available to do, uh, but if he is, make sure you guys go and do that because for 300k, uh, 
what a card that is. He's like a mini upgraded Messi, a mini team of the year Messi is what I'd call him. Uh, very swift, very hard to deal with, and he does do very crazy stuff as well. But speaking of crazy, look at that goal from R9. I had to walk away from the screen. R9 has no right to do those things. So why is he doing the sombrero flick and flicking it over someone's head, then banging it on the volley? Outrageous. Those are the goals that you see in FIFA 19. But yeah, um, R9, still doing R9 things. Still out of this team as well, I have uh, loads of team of the year cards, but out of the team of the years and everything, R9 is still the one shining the most at times. Mbappe, Mbappe is lightning fast. Very, very quick. Uh, really good with dribbling and his finishing is also sublime as well. The only thing that lets Mbappe down from being pretty much the best card in the game is the fact that he doesn't have five star weak foot. And I have spoken in the past about how effective that is to have five star weak foot, but it is actually paramount to your success on this game when you are in and around the area. Because the option, like the thing with R9, Mbappe would probably be better than R9 if he did have the five star weak foot because R9 can take it on the left of the box and smash it across goal, can take it on the right of the box, smash it across goal, uh, and his finishing is so, so high as well. So to have that five star weak foot makes him an all round incredible player. But in terms of how the team was playing, it was really smooth, but I don't really like to take into account the first 10 games of Fight Champions because you're playing against players who may not be anywhere near your level sometimes. And uh, sometimes you might be unlucky a match a pro or something in your, in your first uh, few games, but it is unlikely. So when I'm using these teams and playing with these players in the first few games, I don't really try and get gassed or get too excited because it could turn from the moment you go 10, uh, 10 wins and upwards, you could be playing people that are going to sit back, soak up the pressure and deal with the team. But yeah. Lionel Messi, uh, very, very nice player to use as well. So much faster and swifter uh, than the normal Messi. And I, I know some people say normal Messi is just good enough. You don't need to upgrade him. But honestly, the speed at which he dribbles in comparison to the other ones, it, you can see a huge difference. And if you don't believe me, well, then you're going to have to try and buy a 99 Messi yourself, realistically. Um, but yeah, no, overall, I was enjoying the team. The formation itself, not quite. 4 1 2 1 2. I feel like, yet again, that was me forcing so many players uh, into one team because I wanted to use all the good players at once. That's the thing. You guys know this is MMT. You guys know what we're all about right now. And we want to be using the best players at all times. But still, like I said, this man, R9, shining through. And you see it in these clips. He's just ridiculous. Sometimes anything he hits just seems to go in. Uh, defensively, overall, still I'm looking very, very weak. There, I had a bit of a player changing issue, which I should get used to and should know how to deal with by now, maybe. Uh, but I'm still confused as to whether I should use LB or if I should use uh, the right stick to player switch. Let me know down in the comment section below what you work, what you think works best for you and if it can help me. If you guys see anything that I can actually improve on and you're not just trying to be someone who's just saying negative stuff, and if you actually have constructive criticism for me that you can see from my gameplay, let me know down in the comment section below because I actually do want to learn and try and improve at this game because I do want another top 100 finish, but it's still very hard to come by. But yeah, overall, these players, if you do have the coins to try out any of them, I would say the standouts for me so far in this team that you're seeing right now, De Jong, Mbappe, uh, Messi, Van Dijk, uh, definitely not Alisson, uh, and I would say Robertson's quite good as well, so if you want to get him, um, but yeah. Fun team to use. I'm honestly so privileged to be able to use these cards and to show you guys as well is always a pretty cool thing. But let me know who you think from this video is your favorite player just by looking at them. Uh, who do you think would be the best card and who would you want to use if you had this team? Who would be the player that you're looking forward to using most? Hey, yet again, R9 just shown. I think you guys are just gonna say R9 because he just looks incredible. I'm watching this back and thinking, what other card would you actually pick? Um, but yeah, we still have loads of cards that I want to try. I'm still looking at the 92 Boots Regenio. Still looking at Trent. I do want to try Trent. Uh, Crespo, you guys want me to try. I know that for sure. Kenny Dalglish, uh, Ronaldo, 99 Ronaldo. Uh, Hullet's up there as well, 93 Hullet. You guys know that he's quite rare on the market. And I don't want to pay too much for him. So I'm kind of being patient. But you'll probably see 99 Ronaldo and 93 Hullet in the next episode of MMT. So make sure that if you're not uh, subscribed already and you do want to catch that, that you do subscribe now. Uh, make sure that you're also following my Twitch. The link to that will be down in the description below. You may be able to catch MMT live. You may be able to catch Fight Champions on the weekend and also Pez Become a Legend if that's a bit of you. But 99, 99 Ronaldo and 93 Hullet will probably be the players appearing in the next episode of MMT because uh, those are players that I really do want to try 
And like I said, make sure you don't miss it. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Take time. I take time when I make mine. I keep it real. I never fake mine. On the camera in the meantime. Kind of quiet when it's me time. I free thighs in my free time. Subscribe and you rewind. That's how we do it.